So let's welcome first, fighting out of the red corner. Give it up for Stefan Dorian. CD, you f. You know? No such thing as turning back right now. It's an attack right now. Everything black right now. Don't get it twisted. I'm at the back mine up. Stop my beat. Stop my ground. King of the Nizzy had to rip my tongue. I tried, but I kept my crown. It's, 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 it's peak for these industry kicks. I'm a G from the streets. I am me. I spent Christmas shutting off weed on a pedal bike scheme. I am me. I was living a nightmare. The nightmare turned to a dream. And all this because I spot a quick cold 16 and I told them to walk with me. But talk is cheap. I kept my word. I'm 10 years deep. And ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome into the blue corner. Give it up for James Hazel. Now greetings to the world. Vice of the one big gangzilla alongside Skrillex. Symphony. Oh, we. Up the place, turn up the place and make them all have fun. How we have blazed the fire, make it fun them. We must up the place, turn up the place and make some fun. Why run? And we will end your week just like a Sunday. We must up the place, turn up the place and make them all have fun. Skrillex, I blaze the fire, make it fun them. We must up the place, turn up the place and make some fun. Why run? And we will end your week just like a Sunday. <laughs> Got James Hazel making his way into the ring, into the cage, sorry. Back with us again, we've got Jerome Adams to promote <laughs> himself. <laughs> got a spare minute before I come over and check this fight out. I've been really interested in this one. Flyweight amateur MMA, we've got Stephen Dorman of Fight Factory in Tamworth against James Hazel of Shackleton and BJJ. This is a 61 kilo fight, three three minute rounds. What are you expecting from this fight, Jerome? I'm not sure because Steph on his last fight, he was, a, he was an aggressor, put a, lot of, put a couple of kicks in, but his ground game wasn't the greatest. Whereas James Hazel, I know his BJJ is, is, is really good, but I, I, I'm not sure what his stand-up will be like. So, Well, they say styles make fights. This is stand-up versus groundwork. Classic MMA bout, isn't it? <laughs> Back to the original. <laughs> How are you finding it today, though, Colin? Yeah, it's been great fun. Thank you very much for having me on, mate. Now, any to every time we hope to have you hundred percent. Thank you for coming. Anytime I can be up here, you know, I think you're creating one of the best shows in the UK, my brother. I told you that a long time ago as well. Thank you, bro. Thank and every you time much. you step it up, I mean, you've got Junior Coleman on today. <laughs> We've had you. Come on, bro. I used to, I'll tell you a little, tell you a little secret. When I first started, when I first started Muay Thai, Junior was actually someone who I really wanted to be my coach. And now he's fighting on my show. <laughs> isn't it great how that works? It's crazy, isn't it? It's such a great scene, the UK Muay Thai scene. I love it. There we have James Hazel of Shackleton BJJ stepping into the ring there. Shackleton BJJ is down, based in Kent. And then we've got Steph Dorna Storming. Face down in based in Birmingham. So we've got down south versus and the Midlands as well. Now as we see there, we've got the Steph Dorman wearing the inspired shorts. Supporters and sponsors of the show today, you can find them at inspired underscore UK for all of your fight wear requirements. Thank you for to inspired as well for coming up with this custom design for us. It's absolutely amazing, I love it. I've got a couple of pairs myself. Your designs are nice and different as well. I like the Creed ones. You like the Creed I like ones, the Creed yeah? One. I remember when they originally came on as well. <laughs> <laughs> three, three minute rounds, flyweight MMA. 
Let's Amateur go. rules. Hazel takes position up against the fence. Dorman keeping his distance. Great takedown though. And this is exactly what you were saying earlier, you know. Hazel's ground game is strong, you know it's strong. He's from Shackleton BJJ. He's won a few BJJ tournaments lately as well. So his, his BJJ is very strong. That's one of the good things about the BJJ competitors. They're, they're out quite regularly. This is it, so they are able to hone their, hone their craft, as you would say. Especially just in BJJ as well, as it's less impactful on the body. Yep. You know, they yep. can get more in. And there we see him taking side control. He's obviously got the arm around the neck there. And it looks like oh, Dorman oh, is in he, trouble. He looks close. He looks, looks close. in trouble. Yeah, there we go. There we go with there the tap. There we go. James Angel, Shackleton BJJ. What a finish. Wins what by a submission. Finish. And on that, I'm going to have to love you and leave you again. No worries. I'll see you I'll again see you soon. Very soon. Well, a short lift out there. James Hazel of Shackleton BJJ taking the victory over Stefan Dorman of Fight Factory. Shackleton started off, sorry, Hazel started off. He had his back against the fence. He was waiting for Dorman to make a little mistake, get a little bit too close. The second he did, he pounced, got on top of him, and just basically didn't let go. Good win there for Hazel. Lovely to have Jerome with me as well for that fight. Over to the announcer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for both of these warriors. Amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, your winner by first round stoppage by the arm triangle in the blue corner. Now, greetings to the world. Vice the one big gangzilla alongside Skrillex. Good win there for James Hazel. As we move on to flyweight amateur K1 match between Erin Mansfield of Hopwood Fight Centre and Laura Stanaker of Cooksey Combat Club. 